Hello, everybody. Good morning, um, or good morning at the time we're recording. I'm here with my mom and Mojo, and Bowie is somewhere. <laughs> um, today's vinyasa, 45 minutes. I will lead you into our meditation, either a seat or laying down, and I will leave you to meditate for however long you'd like. And we have a playlist in the description, so have that ready if you're using it. Make sure it's not on shuffle or repeat. And we'll start it together in three, two, one. Let's begin at the top of our mat. We'll start in Uttanasana forward fold. So separate your feet hip width distance, maybe even slightly wider. The wider your feet, the more space for your back. And then interlace opposite elbows. Start with a gentle movement, swaying side to side. Shaking out your head, releasing your neck and your head. Good. We start with a generous bend in your knees. And then now find stillness in your fold. Switch to crossing of your forearms. Release through your shoulders, your jaw. And every exhale, start to lengthen the backs of your legs. Keep your eyes soft. Gaze at one point or closed. Deep breathing, especially the exhales. Inhale, exhale, release your hands down to your mat. Keep your feet hip width distance or toe heel your big toes to touch. Tuck your chin to your chest and on a slow inhale, roll up to stand. Arms heavy, head heavy, head and neck arrive last. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and back, samasthiti. Hands to your heart. Take a moment, draw awareness to your heart space. Ask your heart, what do I need for at least the next 45 minutes? What do I need to receive? What do I need to release? And use your breath as a paintbrush to receive and release. Inhale for Om. Surya Namaskar A, Sun A. Inhale, mountain, reach your hands, line it up, touch your palms, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs, empty your breath. Halfway lift your spine, inhale. Step or jump back, exhale, chaturanga, or lower all the way down. Watch out for your dog. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Oops, sorry, Mojo. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips, stretch your legs. Three breaths. Here for one. Lengthen your shoulders. Two and three. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Fold back down. Exhale. Rise up, mountain. Extend. Look up. Samasthitihi, exhale. Again, inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Vinyasa, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Deep breathing. One. Gaze towards your navel. Two. Three, step or jump to the top, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, fold back down, exhale. Mountain, reach up, receive at the top. Samasthitihi, exhale. Second one, chair pose, inhale, bend your knees, reach your hands up. Exhale, fold and release. Halfway lift, inhale, vinyasa, exhale. Be with every breath. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right leg forward. Root your left heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga, low plank, 
All the way down, stretch the exhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, up dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Left leg forward, right heel down, inhale, warrior one, Virabhajasana. Exhale, like a wave, Chattaranga Dandasana, low plank. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, inhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog, exhale. One. Two and three. Step or jump to the top of your mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold back down. We add on. Chair pose, sit down, reach up. Stay here, exhale, chair plane, fly the arms back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fly back. Think cobra in the chest. Inhale, chair, yeah, good. Exhale, chair plane. Mountain, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, inhale. Exhale, fold, release. Halfway lift, inhale. Vinyasa, exhale. Always option to skip, of course. Downward facing dog. Step your right leg forward with the left heel. Inhale, warrior one, look up. Exhale, warrior two, open out. Very good, front knee over your front ankle, pull your heels in towards each other, and then take little pulses with your arms. So up and down, look towards your right hand. Every exhale, pumping down. Here for four, three, two, and one. Flip your palms facing up, again, up and down. Here for one, two, just three, and three. Reverse warrior, keep your legs as they are. Reach your right hand up, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Move through vinyasa. Good, reset. Downward facing dog, exhale. Step left leg forward, root your right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, front knee stays, just widen your back leg. Good, stay here. This time, draw your thumbs up towards the sky, palms facing forward, and then pump forward and back. Exhale, exhale. Try to stabilize your core. Look beyond your left fingertips. Here for four, three, two, one. Flip the palms to face back, so thumbs facing down. Again, pumping forward and back. Stay with the breath. Three for three, two, and one. Reverse warrior, stretch through your left side, keep your front knee bent, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, vinyasa. Downward facing dog, exhale here. One more breath, inhale. Stay for exhale. We go one more time, adding on. Look forward, step or jump to the top, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold back down, exhale. Chair pose, sit down, reach up, inhale. Chair plane, exhale. Stay here or interlace your fingers behind you. Lean into the ball mounts of your feet, maybe lift your heels. Mm -hmm. Squeeze your ankles, your inner thighs towards each other. And look slightly forward here for one. Lift your palms away from your hips. Two, chest forward. And three, heels down. Keep the bind. Straighten your legs. Look up. Inhale. Samasthiti. Exhale. Release. <laughs> Inhale. Mountain. Keep going. Exhale. Fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Vinyasa. Exhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Step your right leg forward, left heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. Straighten your right leg. Exhale, triangle. Tilt your spine over leg, lower right hand down. Left hand up. Option for a block under your hand. Look up towards left hand. 
Now keep your gaze at your left hand. As you inhale, Utita, extend your left hand over your ear. Look. As you exhale, rainbow the hand down and then back up on the inhale. So inhale up, doing circles. Exhale forward and down. Look towards your hand. One more inhale up. Exhale, circle forward and down. Inhale to the triangle. And then reach up to star pose, heels and toes out. Take it out. <laughs> and then exhale, point your toes in. Hands to your hips, another inhale. And exhale, fold over your legs. Hands in line with your feet. Shoulder width distance. Another halfway lift. Keep lifting the sit bones as you exhale, fold. Here for one. Nasagra Jishti, gaze to your nose. Two. And three. Halfway lift your spine. Inhale. Exhale, pivot towards your right leg and move through vinyasa. Reset. Cleanse the palate. That's what my teacher Mirabai says. The vinyasas are cleansing the palate. Step left leg forward. Root your right heel. Rise up, warrior one. Inhale. Warrior two, exhale, open out. Reverse warrior, inhale. Straighten your left leg, reverse triangle. Into triangle, tilt your spine over left leg and lower your left hand down, right hand up. Again, always option for a block or placing your hand on your big toe. Look towards your right hand, Pasta Drishti. Even as we do circles. So as you inhale, reach your hand forward. Exhale down. Inhale, circle back and up, look up. Exhale, forward and down. One more like that, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach up, triangle. And then exhale, rise up to stand. Star pose, heels and toes out, shake it out. Yes, <laughs> don't even need to say it, just do it. <laughs> exhale, point your toes in. This time, interlace your fingers behind. Take the opposite thumb on top. The weird one. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, fold over your leg. Keep lifting your sit bones, knuckles away from your back. Here for one. Relax the shoulders. Two. Lean more weight to towards your toes. And three. Release the bind under your shoulders. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Pivot towards left leg and move through vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, hinge forward to a high plank. One elbow at a time, lower down to forearm plank. Good. Try to parallel, or rather than try, do parallel your shit, your forearms together. Lock your belly towards your spine and try to puff up the space between your shoulder blades. So rather than depressing down, press your forearms down to puff up that space. E, yes. Steady the breath, gaze at one point. Last three, two, and one dolphin pose. Walk your feet towards your elbows, kind of like a forearm down dog. Press your elbows down and away to lengthen through your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Good. This is great prep for any inversions. So pressing your forearms down and away feeling the strength of your shoulders, try to, or rather, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Oof. If you have headstand, take headstand. If you'd like to play with forearm stand, lift one leg at a time. Inhales to lift, exhales to lower. Wherever you are, keep breathing. Last four. Three. Two, and one. Walk your feet back to forearm plank and lower your hips down to sphinx pose. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shoulders away, broaden through your collars. Relax your back, but keep hugging the inner thighs. All right, let's do some neck rolls. So as you inhale, look up. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Chin to chest. And then inhale, right ear, right shoulder, and look up. One more that direction. Exhale. Now 
Next time you're at the top, switch directions. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Change your chest. Left ear, left shoulder on the inhale. And then keep going one more time. All right, next time, draw your chin to your chest and then return back to neutral. Nice. Slide your hands underneath and come to upward facing dog. Lift the hips, downward facing dog, exhale. Contract the belly. And then now look forward, step or jump to the top, forward fold, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold back down. Chair pose, sit down, reach up. Here, this time chair plane, fly the arms back once again, interlace the fingers. Keep that bind. You can always use a strap if you'd like. And then lean into your right leg. Keep the bind as you straighten your right leg. Bring your left knee in line with the hip. One-legged mountain. All right, shoulders down and back. Extend your left heel forward. Hug your right hip in as you lower left heel. Come into bound airplane. Chest goes forward, legs goes back. Yes. Knuckles towards the sky. Flex your heel back, kick in your back heel towards the imaginary wall. Three, two, release the bind, stay lifted, arms out to the side. Three, two, arms reach forward, inhale, exhale, standing split, hands down. You can use blocks, frame your front foot. So for this variation, point your toes and then lift your hip high. So almost like you're coming to half moon and stack your left hip over the right. Almost like, a, what's it called? A scorpion dog. Option to bend, extend the knee. Options here, you can do, if you want more stretchy stretch or balance challenge, you can draw one or both hands to your calf. If you want more strengthy strength, you can bend left knee outside of right knee, Shiva squats. As you exhale, lift up, inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Good, if you have handstands, you can try handstand hops, hands down. Even if you lift just half, half millimeter, okay, kick your left heel up. Yeah, practice pressing your hands down, down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, finish your last two, three, and then land your left toes back, warrior one. Ah, down, down. <laughs> good, good. Something familiar. Then straighten your right leg, pull your right hip back, left hip forward, round your spine, and find pyramid pose. Ooh. Frame your front foot. Good. If you'd like to take a bind, you can take your bind or place hands on blocks. With every exhale, melt your forehead toward your front shin. Fully exhales. Good, and then re-bend your front knee. Come up to stand. And then step or hop to the top. Samasthi to be. That's our balancing for ya. We have another side. <laughs> chair pose. Bend your knees. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, chair plane. Interlace fingers. Again, opposite thumb this time. Puff up the chest. Lean into left leg this time. And then lift. Right knee in line with the hip. Use your belly, your center to lift. And you also use your belly to extend your heel forward. Kick. Hug your left hip in. As you lower your right heel like a pendulum, chest goes forward. Heel goes back. Look where you want to go. Nice. Go for three, knuckles towards the sky. Two, stay lifted, release the bind, arms out to a T, here for one. Two, point your right pinky toe towards the earth. Extend the arms forward, inhale, warrior three. Exhale to standing split, hands down, lift. Point your right toes and then lift your hip high, forehead towards your shin. And then same options, balance challenge, one or both hands towards your calf. You can do Shiva squats, bend both knees behind, follow your breath. 
or you can do handstand hops, hands in front of you, shoulder width distance, and then kick. Press down as you kick. So same two motions. You're pressing your arms down and you're kicking your legs up. Think about getting your hips over your shoulders. Nice. Mm -hmm. Three, two, and one. Bend your left knee, warrior one. Land the heel down. Whew. Something familiar to ground down. Nice. Warrior one so easy now at this point. <laughs> and then straighten your left leg, square the hips, and then roll your spine over left leg. Again, hands can stay on blocks on the earth or maybe a bind. So fold over left leg. Keep pulling your left hip back, right hip forward. Deep breathing. In and out through your nose. And then we bend the knee and then come up to stand. Inhale and step or hop to the top. Samasitahi, exhale. Whew. Now let's do Rikshasana. Let's do um, Badmasana style. So you can do regular tree if you'd like. If you have Badmasana or half Badmasana, take the knife edge of your left foot to your inner hip crease. Mm -hmm. You can use your hand, keep it here, but pull the, pull the left knee down towards the earth. Option for a half bind, reach your left hand, either for your low back, your elbow, or maybe your foot. Nice. You can stay here, practice the balance, or exhale, fold over your left leg. Every exhale, release into your hips and your leg. Last three, two, one. Halfway lift if you lowered, stay for the exhale, and then inhale, rise up to stand, and release that side. Nice, thank you, thank you. Nice balance. Switch to the other side. Lean into your left leg and place the knife edge of your right foot to your hip crease. Again, you can do tree if you'd like. Keep your hand here and or do a half bind, left hand to your elbow or maybe your foot. Good, push the elbow, left knee down. Stay here or exhale, fold over your leg. Stay with the breath wherever you are. Gaze at one point. Here for one, two, and three. Halfway lift, inhale, stay for exhale, and inhale, rise up. Exhale, release what you have, shake it out. Whew. Good. Let's flow back down for stretch. Inhale, for core and stretch. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale, stay here, or Bhagasana, crow pose, surprise. <laughs> Plant your hands down, <laughs> bend your fingers, look forward. Yes, maybe lift one or both feet, use your belly to lift. Here for two and one, step or jump back. Either way, we'll meet downward dog, nice, Carmen. Inhale to stretch the hips. Exhale to downward facing dog. Um, look forward, step or jump through to a seat. Extend the legs out wide. I'll switch my camera now that we're low. Stretch the legs out wide. Turn towards your right foot. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think you can. Can you hear her alarm? No. No, okay, it's just us distracted. All right, turn towards your left leg, reach for what you can, calf, ankle, foot, maybe a strap, and then pull back. So arms are straight and use the strength of your back to stretch your left leg. Good, stay here, or as you exhale, fold over right, left leg. Here for one, fully exhaled. Two, 
and three. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, release. Switch over to the other side. Receive what you can, calf, ankle, foot, or strap. Start by pulling back. Think halfway lift or cobra. Stretch the back of right leg. Stay here or fold on the exhale. Here for one, two, and three. Half a left inhale, exhale, release, and then come through center. So only go as wide as you can receive the sides of your feet. Yes, half a left inhale. Keep tilting the pelvis as you exhale, fold forward. First your forehead, then your nose, and then your chin and chest eventually. Keep tilting your pelvis forward. Here for one, five breaths. Two, keep your legs active, pointing up. Three, four, breathe. And five, halfway lift, inhale, and exhale, release. Good, now lift, bend your knees, lift your legs, receive the sides of your feet, point the toes, and look up. Here for one, three breaths. Two, and three, Navasana, boat pose, big toes touch. Reach your arms forward, you can do half or full. Look up, here for one. Two, broaden through your chest, lift. And three, cross your legs, plant your palms, lift your hips, inhale. <laughs> Exhale, hips down. Second set, Navasana. Here for one. Hug the inner thighs. Two, feet together, yes. Three, cross your legs, plant your hands, lift your hips, inhale. Exhale, hips down. Last set. One. Two. And three, cross your legs, plant your palms, lift your hips, and then step or jump back, vinyasa. Woo. Stretch on the inhale, and release on the exhale. Let's work. Half pigeon pose, draw your right knee towards your right wrist, lower down to your shin, and extend your left leg back. Okay, more bendy people, parallel the shin towards the front. You can do figure four on your back and then option to look, or rather look over your right shoulder. Once your hips feel squared-ish and balanced, then you can fold forward, breathing into your right hip. Use every last bit of the exhale. Release through your right hip. Inhale. Option to stay down a few more breaths. Option to play with king pigeon or mermaid variations. You'll lift up onto your palms. You can stay here, think upward facing dog, stretch. You can play with bending the back knee. You can twist to the left and receive your foot. We're just giving different options. Relax the left hip, whatever you choose. Mm -hmm. You can kind of do what we did in um, sinks before. So you'll Turn your palm to your fingers to face your toes upward, and then you'll pull back. Kind of hard to see from this ankle. So here, this. So you'll reach back, face the fingers up, 
and then push me. <laughs> we can try mermaid, hug the elbow in, the foot with the elbow, pull up, maybe reach the right hand up. Yeah, I have my phone here so I can I can see. Nice. Whatever you have, take one more breath. Bend down on me. Exhale, release mindfully. And then find your way back to downward dog. Stretch your legs. Ah, left thigh, pigeon. Left knee towards your left wrist. Lower down to your shin. Good, again, work to parallel the shin eventually. Otherwise, you can take swan or figure four on your back. Look over left shoulder. This side's a little tighter for me, so I may put a, may pass me a block, please. <laughs> Place a block. Then once you feel ready in your foundation, recline forward into your forward bend, releasing into left hip. Again, use the breath. The breath is the tool to receive, to release, kind of like a editing tool. If you edit videos or photos and kind of copy and paste, cut and paste. Option to stay in pigeon, a few more breaths. Option for king pigeon, mermaid variations. Lift up onto your palms. Being upward facing dog here. Look up. King pigeon, you'll bend your back knee. Maybe reach head back. Mermaid, you'll twist to the right. Receive the foot. If you'd like to just stretch to start, you'll flip your palm, your fingers to face towards your toes and bend your elbow, relax the hip. Good. Mermaids, you'll place your foot into your elbow crease. Place your right hand up and the left hand reaches up. Maybe connect the fingers behind. Keep the breath flowing. Wherever you are, take one more breath. And then exhale, release what you have. Come to downward facing dog, stretch the leg. Thank you, thank you. And then step or jump to the top of your mat, standing on your knees, Ushjasana camel, set up for camel. So if you know you can reach your heels, keep the toes untucked. If you're not sure, tuck the toes and or place blocks. Hands to your back. Draw your elbows in, just like chest expansion, and look up towards the sky. Hug your inner thighs and stay here. This is camel, or begin to trace your gaze back. Hips forward, gaze back. Maybe reach for your heels. Keep lifting through your chest, gaze towards the tip of your nose. Yes, keep pressing the hips forward. Relax the back. Mm -hmm. Hips, inner thighs, engaged. And then reverse the same way you came in. So head and neck arrive last, hands to your back. Yes, good, good. And then sit down, release your hips to one side and extend your legs forward for seated forward fold. Remove the flesh from underneath your glutes. And then inhale, reach the arms up, mountain in the spine. 
Keep the spine long as you exhale, hinge from your hips forward. Reach for what you can. Calves, ankle, feet strap. For the first few breaths, keep inhale lengthen, exhale fold. Trying to reach forward more, even just a half millimeter or less. The second half, just stay exactly where you are. No going more further, no going less further. Every exhale, release the backs of your legs. Halfway lift the spine, inhale, and then exhale, release what you have. Ardha Matsyangjasana, twist, bend your right knee, cross your right foot outside of left knee. Option to bend your left knee under. Yes. And then turn towards your right side, keeping the spine long. Exhale to twist. Draw your left elbow outside of your right knee and look over right shoulder. Root down through both sit bones. Every inhale is to lengthen the spine. Receive every exhale to twist and release. Option to extend your left hand towards your right foot. Option for a half bind or a full bind. Yes, wrap your left arm underneath. And then optimize your effort. So only use exactly what you need to maintain this. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Everything else, let go. Inhale. And exhale, release what you have. Let's try this for funsies. If and only if your bottom knee is bent, you'll turn towards your left side. Lift your hips, keep your feet where they are. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Pivot, pivot, pivot until you're on the other side. Ooh, yeah, you did it. <laughs> nice, perfect. Otherwise, you can just switch your leg. Again, you can keep your bottom leg, your right leg extended. And then lengthen the spine and twist over to the left side. I think you. Hook your right elbow outside of knee. Look over left shoulder. Again, root down through both sit bones, especially the left one. Option to extend your right hand towards your foot. Take a half bind or full bind. Wrap your right arm underneath. You can reach for a strap. And deep breathing. Inhale, and exhale, release. For funsies, we'll do the other side. So turn towards your right side, lift your hips, pivot on your toes, twist, 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 keep going, yes. And then hips down, awesome. <laughs> and then just extend, extend the legs, shake them out. We'll go side to side. And let's sit. Let's sit for pranayama and to meditation. So. If you have lotus, take lotus, right foot first, and then the left, take half lotus or sukhasana. Okay, let's do kapalabhati, pranayama, or in other words, breath of fire, or some people call it breath of fire. Skull shining, brain shining, breath. The arms are relaxed onto your thighs, gaze is to tip of your nose or close if that feels safe. Face remains soft, and the effort is in the exhale. So you'll exhale, push your belly to your spine, through your nose, and then the inhale, allow the inhale to arrive passively. So it'll look like, yes. Yeah. So we'll do three rounds. First round, about a second each. 
I'll count, don't need to count, just follow with the breath. Start by inhaling halfway and begin Kapalabhati. Release, return to natural breath. Observe breath, body, mind. Second round, we'll go a little faster. Feel free to go at the same pace as the previous or at your own pace. Inhale halfway. Exhale, begin Kapalabhati. Release, return to natural breath, in and out through your nose. Observe breath, body, mind. Last set, we'll go the same pace, but a little longer. Again, take it at whatever pace. If you feel dizzy, take it at the previous slower pace. Inhale halfway and begin. Release, return to natural pace, observe breath, body, mind. Option to stay here in your seat for final meditation. Option to lay down into Shavasana. Set up any props as you'd like or need. Towel or pillow under your head or neck. Blocks under your shins, blankets. Just make any adjustments to either sit or lay comfortably. Release control of your breath. Just be aware of it. When you happen to notice your exhale, melt into your posture, onto your mat, releasing your legs, your arms, your throat and your jaw, your head and your eyes soften with the exhale. Be with every breath. It's exactly 7.45. Please stay for as long as you can. There is about six minutes left in this song. If you'd like to use that as a gauge, if you're using the playlist. As always, thank you. Namaste, mommies. <laughs> if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day or night, whatever time of the day it is for you. And take care. Namaste.